Hello everybody, so welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough. So, uh, I just got done fighting that extremely powerful hunter NPC that I was telling you about. Um, I got the, um... Right, let me go to it. I got the Crow Hunter badge. And uh, I also got the, um, Hunter rune, speed, stamina, recovery. Uh, so now we can get the, um... Blade of Mercy, which is a new skill weapon, and the, uh, Beak Set. Quite cool. I think I'll wear this set now for the finale. So we'll get that upgraded. Oh, and by killing him, we also get the Blood Rapture rune, which visceral attacks will restore HP. And I'll, I'll explain this. So, this Beast's Embrace rune. So, to use it properly, um, I'll just use this. So, uh, you have to use the Beast Claw with it. So, the Beast Claw, in its transformed mode, And it's transformed mode for every hit you will get a beast hood. However, with this rune, you now become a furry. And the moveset gets upped. <laughs> and it also has this uh, L2. <laughs> which I'm not sure what that does. It does do a little bit of damage. I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. I think it's like a stagger or something. Sheldon, be quiet. So, yeah, there's that. So yeah, we'll need a living string, which is what we'll get today in this episode. <sighs> Fine, Sheldon, I'll let you out. <sighs> there you go. It's just my dog. Wanted to get out of my room. <sighs> Alright, so I was doing some stuff behind the scenes and... Now we can get a lot better, like, uh, blood gems, stuff like that, um. So to start, uh, what I recommend, buy as much, uh, sedatives as you can. Because this next area is going to be filled with frenzy. Alright, gonna head on to Nightmare of Mensis. Gonna start trying to get to the finale. Alright, so you remember that frenzy tower thing up there? So to start, run up here. Ignore the frenzy, it doesn't do that much. It'll drain your health, but other than that. It's really slow. Uh, if you don't kill these guys... ...with a visceral attack or a fire attack... ...then maggots will come out of them. Now these guys drop okay blood gems, not the best, but... Alright, so we're gonna run up here. And notice how when it frenzies you, you get a heartbeat effect. That's pretty 
interesting. Didn't notice that before. Alright, so then we're gonna encounter these rock throwing guys. So we're gonna run past them all. There are a couple items we can get here. Like some chunks. But the rocks will do a lot of damage. So we're gonna run ahead. Open this door. Then... Get a bloodstone chunk, and then up here, uh, I always miss this on all my playthroughs the first time. In fact, I didn't even realize it was here until I checked over here. But right over here, there's another chunk. Then head in here. So there will be this giant nightmare apostle right here. That's what these spiders are called. Uh, it does exist in the chalice dungeons, and only one chalice that I know of. Uh, and also, in the Nightmare, uh, these will naturally spawn, so if you don't want to do PvP, which I'm way too high level to get reliable players anyway, so... And after we defeat the final boss this area, we will be able to play uh, Blood Rocks uh, with 60 Insight, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so... There we go. So they will very, um, it's not as, not very common, but they will drop a, like, it, they can drop like eight blood bullets. Um, so up here we'll have this NPC. Uh, he's called Choir Intelligence or something. Suggest, and the theory behind this guy is that he infiltrated the Mensis place, Mensis College to, like, Quite easy to take out. Drop some sedatives. We'll head over here. Get some yellow backbones. How many of those do we have? Only two. We'll need four more of those to do another 
root chalice that I need to do. So these guys will not always straight away attack you. Some of them will. Only if you attack them first. And then get ready for this. Check this out. Even faster than the camera. Can't even catch up with the camera. And then down here, uh, you could go around this way and get this lamp. Uh, there will be the eye rune tier 1 down there. We'll go get that. So now we can head over there, grab the eye rune. Tier 1. And then we'll head back, then go get the next shortcut, and then that will be where we'll leave off. So, uh, in between this and the next episode, I'll get to work on upgrading our Blades of Mercy. We'll also get our like last blood rock that we can get in uh, without buying them in this area. You can also get them in certain root chalice dungeons. Why was I uh, going into that? Uh, but they're like uh, depth five feathered rotted curse, so it'll be pretty tricky to get them. So I think for our next walkthrough on this channel, we'll do Kingdom Hearts three. And then, maybe after that, I don't know. Yeah, for some reason they won't always attack you. Not sure why that is. So, uh, once we kill this, uh, one creature thing, a new, um, uh, cage thing will appear right here that will take us down, and that's where we'll get the, uh, by killing that creature, 
uh, will get the um, next uh, level, the highest level of the eye rune, which will give us the most blood echoes. So these guys, when they shoot you, will uh, give you rapid poison. Um, so you want to take them out as quick as you can. They can also drop rapid poison gems. Yeah, dirty damp blood gem. 6.4, so pretty good. And then over there, forgot to grab that. That will that's an insight. I'll go grab that right now. So now we'll encounter these horrible abominations of nature. They're like... Birds with dog heads and dogs with bird heads. Basically. And then right in there, that's where the next boss will be. Uh, simply roll... Whoa, almost fell off there. Or run, I guess. That would be better, I think. No, I don't remember how to get into there, actually. I think just running will work fine. Yep, yeah, that works. Tempering Damp Blood Gem. That will have some rally potential on it. So right here, this will be the shortcut thing. The next episode will be the boss and the almost second half of this level. So, gonna head back, get some more things, I'll see you then.